Ah, a fresh Rust solo wipe. This server has literally just wiped. This is my second wipe on the Rust console edition pre-order beta. And we're gonna try and whack down a base today. What do I like the look of? We're, we're already near airfield and Oxums. I think we'll head towards the road, try and get a few components early on. We'll go have a look. We're gonna build somewhere near the road this wipe just to you know really expedite the process of getting some components and leveling up in terms of scrap and workbenches and all that kind of stuff. I think we're gonna be pretty hard pressed to find components on this road though. It's gonna be boys looting left, right and center. Little nakeds running around looking for scrap, looking for components. Do I get radiation in here? Yeah, I do. Fuck. <laughs> Let's get out of there. Damn, there's already someone in there. Ah, uh, get <laughs> Leave me alone, dude. Don't you know that I just want to make a bow so I can shoot you in the face? So I was sitting in this bush honing in on a place to build when I was rudely interrupted. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit. Okay. What is he doing? Oh my god, what's he doing? <laughs> I can't believe he chased me, man. What's he thinking? <laughs> oh my god. Old El Paso, you fucked up, mate. After a nice loot boost from Old El Paso, I decided that before I died, I'd get a base down. Okay, so before we die now, let's get a base down. You know what? I might just build here. I think I'm just going to build on that road because I kind of like the idea of building there. I think it's going to get pretty pretty busy and I'm probably going to end up getting raided, but it's fine. At least, you know, we'll have a, a faster start than last, last wipe. I needed to make some room in my invent, so I stashed some items that I could come and collect once I had a base. Okay, that's, that's going to do. Yeah, I'd been practicing my bow shots. I wouldn't quite call myself a master yet, but I was getting close. Okay, maybe I still had some work to do. At this stage, I was happy that there was no proximity chat yet. Well, this lad might have had a thing or two to say also. But nonetheless, I got the job done and continued on my journey to establish a base. <laughs> Bo shooting with a bow is so hard on console, man. It's actually so hard. Does anyone find it easy? Is it just me? I think it might just be me. So after a peaceful, uninterrupted farm, I was ready to go, and this location really caught my eye. You know what? I'm building a big fuck off base. <laughs> I've just decided right now. Harveys did not build a big fuck off base, but I like the enthusiasm. Yeah, I like it. I like it, man. 
He just disconnected, man. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, no, dude. Oh, you poor fella. Hey, look, I feel bad for him, but I'm sorry, mate. I can't leave your shit. He wouldn't be in the true spirit of Rust. So after that, I transported my stashed loot, fortified my base a bit, and went out for a roam. Ooh, actually, there's a recycler up here at Sewer. Yeah, that's so much better. That is so much better than going all the way to launch. Ah, oh, chainsaw! Yes. How do I load this thing? Here we go. <laughs> Man, I want to get this chainsaw home. Maybe I'll cut a couple of trees on the way. Okay, well that makes recycling a whole lot easier. We can grind our scrap up at the sewer branch. I don't know how to turn my candle hat on. <laughs> oh man, it's so bright. Oh dude, ah, it's blinding. <laughs> it's actually blinding. It's the simple things in life. So once I was finished being entertained by my candle hat, which was clearly a miner's hat, I went to hit some barrels and look for some PvP. Ooh, okay. Dude farming down here. Two dudes. I don't know how I won that fight. I was dead. <laughs> I was so dead. What are their names? Carbs and Bezzy. Oh, Carbsy and Bezzy. I am the bow god. Oh man, this place is stacked. I feel like he's close, considering he uh, didn't have any loot on him. So let's get out of here. Man, that dude swung at me from like three meters away with that freaking whatever it was. Cleaver. Fucking machete sword dongle thing. Mace. That's what it was. <laughs> the goddamn mace. There's a few good crates up on that tower too. I think we'll, we'll dump this stuff at base, grab a rad suit. And then we'll hit up that tower. I just gotta find a gun. I gotta find a gun this wipe early. Learn it, make a bunch of them, and then uh, <laughs> go and go and practice with my newly my newly found appropriate recoil sensitivity. Oh well, hey, touch wood. So far we're looking pretty good this way. Looking pretty good.
Oh man, there's a few bases out here. Man, some of those bases are going to be so stacked. Like if they're just running launch all day. Now I'd literally just returned to my base when a care package dropped pretty much exactly where I just was near launch. So I depoted and went to check it out. Mm, that's not too far. Alright, we'll go check this out. It's right near launch. Oof, this is gonna be busy. This is gonna be so busy. <laughs> I'm trying to snag it. There was not one weapon in that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> not a single weapon? There was like nothing in it. That was the shittest airdrop I've ever seen. <laughs> but I got some uh, I got some five five. And I got a bean can helmet, so I mean, oh, I didn't expect to get away with that. Like with anything. I thought I was going to die straight up. After that, I put as many resources as I could into further fortifying my base, admired a day's hard work, and logged off for the night. Little did I know the events that would transpire the following day. Day 2 started out like any other, roaming and dominating the primitive PvP scene. But it wasn't until I ventured out a little further in unknown territory that things started to get interesting. I'd heard some commotion nearby while grinding components at the airfield. Man, the directional sound is so bad. Oh, I got him. Where's his gun? Ah, oh, fuck yeah. Okay, now we're dipping. Hell yeah. Okay, let's get out of here. Oof, he was making a beeline to me with that double barrel. <laughs> Tell you what, that crossy, making plays. Oh, and we got med syringes too. Hell yeah. All right. All right, some progress. I used the scrap that I'd gathered to learn the SAR, the double barrel, 5.56 ammo and med syringes, then headed back out to chase an airdrop that I'd seen landing over near the airfield. But I got a bit distracted on the way. Classic. Yeah, they had nothing.
I did not hear that door at all. <laughs> what? Ah, uh, rip. And as always, I should have dipped. Should have dipped. I found myself at the bandit camp, where I tried gambling some scrap for an LR assault rifle. Fuck. Fuck. And after losing my scrap life savings, I went to make the lonely trek home, when things got interesting. Let's go. Alright, back to base. Man, that's the LR that I wanted. That's why I was gambling. Don't gamble, kids. It's a slippery slope. Now look, I don't want to use the word snowball lightly, but getting that LR really was an important piece of the puzzle for the events that would follow. So the next day, I was out on a farm. A long farm. You know. Good for the soul. I was getting ready to return to base to fill up my furnaces and start getting some resources together for when I had the blueprints for raiding. Dude. Is that a... Is that a freaking M2? Oh my god. Where is it? Oh my god. Holy shit. I gotta get out of here. Like right now. Freaking dip, dude. Oh my god. He had a freaking M2. <laughs> Holy shit. No way that guy had an M2, man. Oh, my heart is fucking absolutely racing right now. What was he doing? And I'm 100% I'm getting raided. Like, this dude knows the direction of my base. Oh, no way. <laughs> no freaking way. <laughs> oh, there's AKs out. Okay. Oh god, this is probably the end. I see a dude down there on the left. Oh, there's two guys down there. Okay, you're gonna see uh, how hard it is to control recoil on the Xbox in a moment. I don't know if I kill the AK, dude. Let's go. Yeah, I got too much shit. I got too much shit. 
If this guy's got an AK, I'm dipping. Like, I'm out. Oh, fuck, he's got an AK. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, what am I dropping? Oh, shit. Oh, the directional audio is so bad, dude. Oh, it's so bad. I had no idea where that guy was shooting me from. Man, I should have grabbed the AK and dipped. <laughs> That's really convenient. I grab that AK. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't realize my bag was that close. That's rough. Here we go. Okay, we're on. Jesus, man. It's like, it's so hard. Oh god, now he's gonna rocket the shit out of me. It's the end. God. <laughs> That's what happens when you have a uh, spare of the moment, spare of the moment uh, chopper base. Oh, That's my shit right there. This is near where I killed the dude with the M2. Mm, I think they have pretty good building privilege though. But, you never know. Alright, I might try and build into that base. Let's do that. I don't think this is going to be easy. I think I may need to go back to base and get ladders anyway, if I want to get into this place, so. Oh. You didn't try too hard, did you, fellas? <laughs> is he going to rock up? Holy! This dude just shot a rocket. What do you mean? What do you mean he shot a rocket launcher at me? I still want to get in. Oh god. missed him. I missed now, at the him. time, I was streaming on Twitch, and I had streamer mode on, so the gamer tags of other players were replaced with soccer mum names like Genie, or in this case, Bridget. But I was almost certain that Bridget here was actually CVKD that I'd encountered earlier. Remember? With the M2? And let's be honest, even though he couldn't possibly have known that it was me trying to build into his compound, the hubris of this man to shoot a rocket at me was concerning to say the least. This guy meant business, and whatever business he was conducting, I'd wound up on the wrong side of it. A short few hours later, I'd left my base to flame raid and grief a stream sniper who'd built their base a stone's throw away from me. I mean, you know, this isn't going to do anything because this dude's just going to come back anyway, but I'm still getting used to the controls, not going to lie. Hold on. Take that back a few frames. Now of course I hadn't spotted this at the time, but even in all its pixelated glory, I know a rocket launcher when I see one. And yep, that's my base. But this was bad. This was really bad.
Oh, it's gonna kill me. What? Oh my god. Alright, back to base. Jesus! Please let me get in this door. Holy shit! <laughs> uh, we just got five rockets and ten, thirteen sack. Oh, holy shit! <laughs> holy shit, dude! Okay, I tell you what, if that's if that's not their last rockets and shit. If that's not the rest of their stuff, then I am so rated. Like, oh man. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> I was so certain that I was dead too. Like, they had me, had me pretty much dead. And then I don't know what happened. They just kind of, they just kind of fucked it. They had so much shit and they're running like not high tier weapons. Once I'd stopped shaking, I was out roaming when I heard a satchel raid close by. Oh man, like it sounded like it was in this direction, but I really have no idea. Oh yeah, here it, here it is. Can I creep up on this? What should I do? Double barrel? No, no, dude. But they would need to either demolish that wall to get out, or they might stay in there and like pickaxe their way out. He's about to open it. He's about to break this wall. Uh, okay. Damn, I'd been close to taking over the raid, but once they'd demolished the stone wall, there was a wooden door on the inside. I knew they weren't going to come out, but they might kill themselves and run back to catch me off guard. So I made a quick dash to get my flamethrower. Hey, they died. They killed themselves. They killed themselves. I'm going back to base. I'm going to get the flamethrower. Yeah, let's be fast. Where's my flamer? He saw me. Oh my god, it didn't fire. Ah, oh, dude. That's rip. That's rip. It sure was. 
But anyway, I was keen to use my recently acquired rockets to raid a nearby base, as I didn't have the equipment or the blueprints I needed to raid old mate Bridget and their buddy. And also, this dude's turret killed me. Petty, I know, but hey, this is rust. So I destroyed his turret, scattered out his base, and got to work. The raid turned out to be a bit of a disaster and definitely not worth the explosives I'd used, but I had fun nonetheless and got some sweet revenge for that goddamn auto turret. And that was more or less the end of the wipe for me. I'd made some plays, caused some trouble, had some rockets shot at me and dealt some revenge. And all in all, I had a great time. And what happened to the M2 you might ask? Well, I don't really want to talk about it, but it involved me, some unnoticed enemy auto turrets and a slightly dented Xbox controller. Thanks so much for watching the video, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on similar videos in the future, and keep an eye out for my next episode of the Rust Beginner Guide that will be dropping in a few days. See you soon everyone, have a good one.